James, what are you doing here? Leave, or I'll jump. You are my wife, Jill. Where else should I be when you're hurting? Why would you jump out when you have something to live for? I'm jumping because of all the pain I caused you and the children. You'll all be better off if I leave. All I have to do is jump, and God and gravity will take care of the rest. What have you done that's so bad that you need to commit suicide? You know perfectly well what I did. I cheated on you with Stan Underhill, and in our bedroom, I ruined our marriage. I admit that sex with Stan is a reason to question your sense of good taste, but jumping off a 30-story building seems like an overreaction to me. Overreaction? I betrayed our wedding vows. I brought shame on the entire family, including our children. I was probably the reason Stan was thrown out of his house and forced into a divorce. Can't you see that everyone will be better off if I die? I don't at all agree that your death will improve the situation for me or our children. Yes, you screwed up, but what you did isn't worth your death. Jill, we can deal with your affair in another way. For example, divorce. I never told you anything about divorce. Are you saying that you haven't thought about divorce? Of course, I thought about it, but I came to the conclusion that this would not help our family heal. This is the most important thing for me, but my death will help you heal. You and the children will no longer have a cheating wife and mother who will embarrass you when we are around other people. Don't tell me you won't wonder if I'll cheat again. If I die, you get all of our financial assets instead of half from the divorce. With my death, you will receive my life insurance. Jill, your death will deepen our wounds, not heal us. The kids and I would feel guilty for not doing enough to convince you how important you are to our family. Alive. By the way, you're wrong about life insurance. There is no suicide benefit in your policy. We will live on less income because your salary is gone, and we will be depressed because of your death. Every day we will think of you when one of us has to do the housework that you usually do. James, you can easily find a woman to replace me. You are a caring, smart, and handsome man, and your children are wonderful. You all deserve a better wife and mother. After what I did to you, why aren't you mad at me? Shout, scold, hit me. I deserve it. I am not crazy. I'm angry that you assume how me and the kids feel. Why don't you ask us how we feel? The kids asked me just before I came here. Why does mom want to leave us? Have we done something bad? If you commit suicide, they will blame themselves, not you. And you won't be here to explain to them. It will be blamed on me. You didn't ask me. You just assumed that I would be vindictive and want to get rid of you. I just know that I would be damn angry if you cheated on me. I know it's hypocritical of me. It's because I'm too selfish. You need a wife and mother who takes your interests and the interests of your children to heart. I thought I had it. I'm not sure I don't have her anymore, even after this short fling. The only way to lose her is if she jumps out. You mean you'll think about staying married even after I cheated? I broke our wedding vows. You definitely broke your oath to leave everyone else. But look at all the other vows you've kept. You have stayed with me through richer and poorer, in sickness and in health, through good times and bad. You were a great mother to your children. You have been a wonderful lover to me. I have many reasons to want to stay married. I don't deserve a wonderful husband like you. True, but you are already lucky to have me. They both smiled. James, are you just saying this to deter me? Damn it, you understand everything. They told me that I would be responsible for cleaning up the mess outside when you fall. Can you imagine what a mess it would be with blood and brains splattered everywhere? What if you hit someone? They will probably sue me. Those idiots down there are standing too close. He grinned. Stop making me laugh, idiot. Suicide is serious. Darling, are you ready to come down now? James, are you sure you want to stay with me? Certainly. Let me show you. James grabbed Jill's hand and pulled hard. They both flew off a tall building. Jill screamed, screamed, and kicked all the way, right up to the air mattress laid out by the fireman, while he distracted Jill with conversations. The mattress quickly deflated and Jill jumped towards James, swearing and hitting him. You bastard. You scared me to death. Firefighters grappled her and took her to an ambulance to be examined. 
The policeman approached James. Are you all right? Of course, I can repeat it. It was fun. It was both brave and stupid of you. You know she'll have to undergo a psychiatric evaluation after she leaves the emergency room, right? Can you get the doctors to lock her in there and lose the keys? It will depend on the doctors. In the hospital. Jill, do you know me? Of course. You are my husband. Have you come to get me out of here? They think I'm crazy. And who the hell is that with you? She pointed to the beautiful young woman standing behind James. Oh, this is one of those women you thought would take your place when you left. You were really right about that. I did several test drives. It's not easy to make a choice. The kids really like it. Oh, yes, the kids sent you a get well card. What? You said you want me to come back. We were going to work it out together. Yes, that is right. You will just solve your problems here, and I will work on mine there. You son of a bitch! When I get out of here, I... Calm down. I will come back and visit you from time to time. By the way, here are some reading materials for you, since you have so much free time now. Jill saw the envelope, opened it, and found a divorce petition. She became enraged and began throwing punches, screaming, kicking, and running around. It took four paramedics to get her down and sedate her. When James and his companion left, he remarked, Well, that should keep her there for a while. Do you want some ice cream? Why don't we take some to the hospital for Stan? I heard he is having a very hard time with the loss of his testicles. Maybe later. I'm afraid I won't be able to stop laughing when I see him. Let's go pick up the children right now. I'm sure they won't refuse ice cream. After this, I would like to have a little privacy and do something interesting with you. Subscribe to our channel so that your second chaff doesn't cheat on you and go ahead and listen to the next story, because this story is nothing compared to the next one. If you're under 18, don't even think about listening to the next one.